Here is another computer simulation that is useful for getting a feel practicing ray diagrams uh, and also practicing making sure you understand our conventions for positive and negative numbers. Uh, you'll find the link for this simulation uh, at the bottom of the learning module. Uh, so here we have a lens, an object, the three principal rays, and the image. Uh, and just like the FET simulation that uh, we played with, you can change the position of our object. Uh, we can have real images or here with the green rays, these are the imaginary principal rays being traced back to show us a virtual image here in green. So I can change the location of my object and see where the image shows up. I can change the size of my object. Uh, you can even drag it down below the axis uh, so that it's um, the object is drawn below our optical axis rather than above. Uh, so those are some things I can play with as I do this. Uh, you'll notice up here P and Q values I can read off. So right now here Q is a positive number. If I move over and get a virtual image Q is here a negative number so we can practice our positive and negative conventions. Um, I can also switch if I cho change the focal length from a positive number to a negative number. Now I, ha I have a diverging lens, so I can again practice ray diagrams for diverging lenses. Um, here is that third principal ray that I did not draw in class, but this is what it looks like. Here's our virtual image. Um, there's also magnification shown up here, so you can practice seeing what magnification uh, means. You can also change the focal length of the lens. If we just grab the lens and drag it to be fatter or thinner, we can see how the focal length changes. Uh, again, this minus sign means all of these focal lengths are negative numbers. Uh, so this is a very useful simulation to play around with, both for drawing um, lens diagrams as well as getting a feel for when are P and Q positive and negative numbers, uh, and what does magnification mean. Uh, notice it's a positive magnification here. Uh, in a different situation, there's a negative magnification. Uh, and so we can understand that, make the connection between the sign of the magnification and whether the image is upright or inverted. Um, also, this is a good opportunity to play around and see what sorts of things are or are not possible with just a single lens. Uh, you'll notice that anywhere I move my object, even if I drag it all the way over to the other side of my lens. With a single lens, P is always a positive number. Uh, no matter where I put the object, that becomes the virtual side, and for a single lens, P will always be positive. It's only when you have more than one lens that you might have a situation where P for the second lens uh, could end up being negative. So this is a good opportunity to play around, practice your diagrams, practice your sign conventions, and understand what is and is not possible uh, for different lenses.